Hello and welcome to this recording from Nerd Central in which I want to demonstrate a relatively simple, um, largely analog, although, you know, this is digital, but the monotribe, the monotron, and the distortion pedal are all analog and I've got a signal um, sonic exciter over on the rack over there, which is also analog. This could be something like a Mooga Fuga, but I don't have that kind of money, then it would be pure analog. And this setup I'm going to use to demonstrate a little bit how you can use a delay to generate a kind of generative music. So that a very simple output from a device like the Korg Monotron can be layered and then we can do some funny spacey 1980 type effects. So let's have a go. Now, the key I found to most things generative is to remember to go very, very slow and layer everything on top. So. This is the monotron. I've got a very simple eight-step rhythm plugged into it. You can actually see it's going through with these uh, lights flicking ever so often. So I'm going to just turn up the rhythm. I'm going to have to turn down the sensitivity on my recorder over here. Okay, so now that's got the recorder over here, which you can't see. I'm recording this on this little device here. I want to make sure that the bars stay in the green. So I might have to fiddle with that a little bit as we go on. Okay, so now, you, as you can no doubt tell, that is a very simple uh, rhythm and not very interesting at all. But now, this is where we start to add on top of that. We add this... Uh, delay pedal, which is a Behringer delay pedal. It's not an expensive delay pedal. I've set it to uh, a tap mode, which triggers are uh, effectively on the dip between the first and the fifth on here. So it's around half the speed, um, half the time it takes to work through a whole pattern, but not quite. And the not quite helps. Okay, so let's turn that on. Now it's starting to layer on top. So each time this plays a rhythm, it layers it on top here. There is some decay, so it's not going on forever, but it's just layering and layering and layering. So we're getting already some sort of generative effect here, which is definitely well worth having. So what I'm going to do now, maybe turn that up a little bit. See, that's got nice and complex now. The other thing is it isn't all that stable. The, because the timing isn't perfect between here and here, and this has got a long delay, they move in and out of each other. And the brain looks for patterns in that movement, uh, and that, that starts to produce that generative effect, that kind of patterns that you can grab hold of and then move and they swell. Okay, so let's turn on um, what we have here is a simple set of notes that are programmed into the synth. However, they're going to be messed up by going through the voltage control oscillator and a lot of peaking on the filter and the voltage control, the low frequency uh, filter is going to mucky around with the frequency of the synth pattern. So let's turn that on. Turn this off to start with. Unsurprisingly, not that interesting, just like before. We can hear the effect of the frequency being messed around with the low frequency oscillator, which of course is also out of time with the rhythm of the monotribe. So when we put on the delay, we should have a nice complex pattern. And it'll start to build up. Now I call that generative because whilst it has a human component, the system just goes off and runs with it. I'm not actually making those patterns anymore. They're caused by the interaction of the different timings. Just looking for the stylus that I was using for playing this. Seems to have gone walkabout, so I'll try this one. Okay, now the final piece of the puzzle is this monotron and it has a different time again, which is a decay time on the low frequency oscillator that's messing with that wonderful filter. 
Okay, you can hear that. Let's take that off. Sounds a bit like a, a, a kiddie sci-fi thing, doesn't it? We can turn up the that. That's the peaking. I definitely want to look for that other stylus. Ah, uh, there it is. Aha. This is a, a little plug that I use for playing this, and I like it. Well, let's man fingers play a monotron. If we turn this down a bit more. Mostly what we're hearing there is a filter. Okay, that's working quite nicely. The this is actually now not what I'm going to go with because now we bring in something to make it sound a little bit richer. This is a straight guitar distortion pedal and it, you can hear now it's putting a lot of gain on the output of this. I can uh, turn up the crunch. Turn up the treble. Clean up the bass. Turn up the bass. I've got something a bit crunchier. Still hideously boring, isn't it? So let's make it go generative. so complex so I can really only keep my rhythm by following these lines. It's not going to be perfect but I'm only human. <laughs> 